Crafty family. Um, I have a bushel of berries for you today. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I've gotten really hooked on the Scrap Diva designs and the dyes that she creates. She also creates like uh, jemmies and things like that, like these kinds of things. Um, but my, and stamps, but my primary focus is the dyes. So she sent me a couple of the strawberry ones. This is how I store my dyes, if you're wondering, and my whole strawberry collection is in here. And this is the dye that's for the um, the cr the strawberry shaped album. And then there are dyes that are for the sentiments and also the um, the shaker dyes. So anyway, I don't know why I needed to show you all that, but that's kind of like where this all started. And then. I also use Peace Craft Love for a lot of my paper supplies, and she sent me the um, the 12 by 12 uh, strawberry milkshake collection, which has just been um, super duper fun. It's by Frank Garcia, the Prima Marketing, and I kind of like their paper because you get several sheets of each one in the packet. I mean, you can order it by the sheet, but I have a tendency to just go ham and get the whole thing. So, and then I also got her, um, she's selling all of the embellishments all together in just one big clump. So anyway, <laughs> a little like uh, where I got my stuff and I'll put links to everything down below. So if you're interested in collecting some items, you can go ahead and grab those. But anyway, um, I'm just going to kind of talk about the evolution of what I've been doing. And I started out with this, just the straight up the album and the album is like, it's meant to hold memories, pictures, journaling, whatever. And so this is the cover and I put the shaker on there. And then with the shaker die, I also went ahead and just cut out the some sparkly strawberries. This is just um, foil paper from Michaels. And then this is the um, Echo Park, like the plaids, ginghams, and dots or something like that. So that's what that is. And then these are the actual strawberry milkshake blooms right there and there. So this is just the album. And I just tried to make a couple little places where you could put pictures. You could um, tuck some journaling in here on the back of those these like these twist with the um, eyelet that's in there and you can also just tuck photos in there but I just had fun putting this together and putting the ephemera in there using the flowers and just all that stuff these are actually clips like the foam that came from the inside of the shaker die I went ahead and left that in there and then I just put the put the little strawberry on top and then you take the paper clip, put it onto a piece of paper and then glue the back down. So then it just becomes this little clip. So, um, and then there's a little belly band in here with stuff. And then this is actually attached and glued in there with this little um, charm. And, and then I took the, there's like little lines that naturally occur in the paper and so I went ahead and just cut us a little rectangle out so that there's a little pocket in here and then this fresh picked oh, I don't want to destroy it is also a little clip so that that can just go ahead and clip anywhere you want it to go so some of the things are in, on this you can move around and others of them are more permanently affixed so um yeah, and then this little mini book. I always love to do these. You just sew it on there. And then it just is so cute. You can glue things on the back or you can write right on them. Pockets work well with these shape albums, I think, because you can tuck your goodies in there. A little mini notebook. This is avocado dyed paper. It just seemed so pink to me when I made it. And then I put it on here. I'm like, mm, it's more beige, but okay. We'll go ahead and stick with that. Some of, I just clipped these little tags on there and then another pocket and then here's another one of the like these pieces that have all like the the cut aparts and then I just cut that little rectangle there and I sew it around it so it doesn't tear easily and then you can just tuck this in here and um, that stays and some little jemmies and then the back has this little flipper this little flip guy I also made this um but it 
it uh, I ran out of pages and so I have this guy just chilling where you can take a picture under there do some writing on there glue something on there whatever you want to do so as I was making this though I when I got into making the embellishments I was like this should just be an embellishment book so that was my next project and <laughs> there she blows so I just wanted to take all of the strawberry stuff lots of the dies from scrap diva lots of the paper from peace craft love and just create this embellishment book and i yes i realize she's a chubby one and that's okay i don't mind her being chubby because the idea is you're gonna pull out all of this stuff that's making it so chubby and then it becomes ah, the strawberry little album so all of this stuff is meant to be removed so this is on here with um, some some foam tape this is clipped on here this little strawberry although i would probably just leave that on here um let's see is this the one yes yeah. and so you open it up and there's this little vellum pocket that's just right here and it has all of the um has two of each of the strawberry sentiments in here and so i just sewed that little vellum pocket and put that in there and then these are the little um the little flags that you can put on things and then you can just attach a little sentiment in it and so that is right there and then i was like what else can i make using scrap diva ties and i thought a strawberry margarita of course and so i made this adorable strawberry margarita and she's full of delicious beverages for us to sip on and then this like pink sandy stuff and it tucks right into that pocket this is a clip that comes off and just attaches right there so like i said you could use this in the future for something else this is a memory dex card that you can pop off um, everything is attached with foam that isn't a clip ah! Come on, there we go. Um, so she's right there, and this is what the back looks like. And so you can put this in your memory dex card, and then you can put something else right here. Um, I'm not saying that everything is going to come off absolutely perfect. There's probably going to be a little paper tearing and whatever. But you know, when you're reusing the book, you can cover that up. Here are a couple of the foamy um, strawberries, like clippies. And then there's that slot right there where you can take a tag in there later and then you can glue things right to this. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'll put that back on later. The bow, of course, comes off. There are these little shirts, the ladies' shirts that Scrap Diva Designs made. And look at this. I got these from Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. The little, the little gems that are just perfect as little buttons on there. I thought those were so cute. And another thing that was kind of cool was this, um, I wanted to say fabric, this paper kind of reminds me of fabric. So this is like, you make a card, you're doing some scrapbooking, you can do whatever you want with these, um, you know. And then, <coughs> excuse me, there's this little, another um, little rosette, this is a clip, and then I made these little flags right here, berry and cute, each of them are unique. They have this little pom-pom on top. This one has a little charm of a strawberry. One's on green, one's on pink. I forget who gifted those to me. And then this is one of the Scrap Diva design, uh, the crystal blingy things. And what else? Oh, a little bit of um, some Baker's twine on there, but they just turned out really cute. And so you can tuck those into whatever you want. And I think I already said this strawberry is another little paper clip guy. And of course, if you don't want to clip a paper clip on there, you can always just glue it on. And then a couple of um, uh, rosettes. And these are actually on, oh no. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that, obviously. <laughs> these are actually on some acetate so that they can peel off easy. Uh huh. yeah, Tamara, so I'll fix that a little while later with some glue. And then this is on there with some of the foam tape and then a couple of bows that are just clipped into place. There are some, some clips that are attached. Here, I'll just pull these off and you can see for yourself how that works. 
So those are right on there and there, and then you can put whatever else you want on there. So, oh my gosh, isn't that cute? So that is, those are two different ways that you can employ the mini album and just scads of different, um, of the different uses for the Scrap Diva Designs dies. Like this is one of her dies. Like, I don't think there's a single die in here that didn't come from Scrap Diva. Nope, there's not. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you that I have been having so much fun this week putting that together. And like I said, I will put the links to everything down in the description box. And one of these is going to be gifted to a friend and the other one, well, like of these is going to be in my Etsy shop. This should be in my Etsy shop shortly as well. So they will be available if you're interested in not making them, but buying one. So thank you for checking them out. And I hope you have a fantastic, or I should say a very nice day.